Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be demoing and reviewing the Be Pure Under Eye Mask and Lip Mask Duo. You can find these at Dollar Tree. I see them pretty much at every Dollar Tree I go to, so they should be pretty readily available. So the company goes by kind of two names, it's Be Color or Be Pure, depending on what item you purchase from them, but they are the same company. I recently tested out their hydrating lip glosses. I will have that link down below if you're interested in seeing that. Again, those are just some lip glosses you will find or you probably have been seeing at your local Dollar Tree. And they sent me those to demo and review and they were also nice enough to send me their masks as well. They actually have a lot of products and there are quite a few things I do see in the Dollar Tree. They wanted to send me things that pretty much were very extremely readily available at Dollar Trees. So that's why I'm testing out these two particular products from them and hopefully more in the future. So yes, that's what we will be doing today. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I love to do a lot of Dollar Tree and Dollar Store oriented content, shopping hauls, walkthroughs, review videos, all that kind of thing. So, so if that sounds good to you, you are definitely in the right place. So I will have any relevant content link down below in the description box that we can binge watch more videos if you are new to my channel and you are a new what I like to call dollar diva. So yes, without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So the directions of course, like most masks, you start with a clean and dry face. So I did wash my face, I don't have any moisturizer on or anything. Lately I've been really liking the Cetaphil Gentle Foaming Cleanser. I think I mentioned something about it in one of my last like empties. That's been like my go-to cleanser for a while now. Anyway, that aside, so yes, we're gonna be testing both of these out. So these claim to combat puffy under eyes and dry lips with our soothing eye and lip masks. I don't tend to have puffy under eyes, but I will see if they kind of look more moisturized. I do get kind of dry and I do get a little bit of like crepiness and like fine lines. So we'll see if they do anything for that. Like I said, I don't have, luckily I don't really battle puffiness. Actually, sometimes my eyes feel a little sunken and I kind of wish I had a little bit more puffy <laughs> puffiness. I feel like sometimes it would make me look I don't know, a little bit more refreshed. Anyways, but I do suffer from like chapped lips. Like I, if you know me, you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know I am addicted to chapstick. So I'm particularly excited to try the lip mask. So the directions say start with a cleansed and dry face. Open the package and use the desired mask or use both at the same time. So you can use them individually or at the same time. I'm gonna do them at the same time. So let's go ahead and open them. I don't know how this package opens exactly. So if you have these masks, it looks like on this bottom side of the corner is where it will peel up. And they do have an expiration date on the back of them, which a lot of beauty products don't. Mine has September of 2024. So I guess if you only wanted to use one mask, you could just peel it, use just one first. So they come in like this little tray. And of course I'm gonna start with the under eye ones first because once I put the lips on, I'm not gonna be able to talk. Feel like a piece of like gummy candy, is what they feel like. And they're very cooling, and it feels like it might stay. We'll see. <laughs> they really feel like amazing. They feel so cool. I could see where just the coolness would help. So let's finish reading the directions and then I'll put the lip mask on and we'll wait. So then you place the lip mask over your lips and gently smooth over to keep in place. Both masks may be left on for 10 to 15 minutes. Then we remove them and we gently massage in the excess solution. Throw away the masks, don't flush them, just a one-time use thing. And for best results, use once a week. Of course it says discontinue if your skin becomes Irritated, don't use on damaged or broken skin. Once open, use the masks immediately. So very typical if you've done any kind of sheet mask. I've done like the paper ones. I've never done one that's like jelly like this. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put it on and I will be back in 15 minutes. Okay, so I've had them on for 15 minutes. And first I'm gonna, it says to kind of rub like the excess liquid just kind of in. So we will do that. So that is what everything looks like. Like I said, I don't really have puffy eyes so there was nothing there. <clears throat> so first impressions, the eye masks stayed on wonderfully. They stayed on every bit as good as like a thin, like the more paper-like eye masks that I've used. 
The lip mask, not so much. I've used like those lip masks, like I said, they're kind of more like paper-esque and those stay on really well. This really did want to slide and it kind of wanted to pop up as well. It didn't really want to sit very flush with my lips. So I definitely kind of favored the application of the eye masks more than the lip mask. My lips feel kind of moisturized. Like I said, I don't have any chapstick on, but I don't feel like they're going to stay that way. I don't really know. Like I said, I feel like I do feel refreshed under my eyes and they probably look a little bit more moisturized. But honestly, I can't really give a really good verdict. Like I don't really have puffy eyes, but I will say now it's been a few, like now it's been like a couple minutes. My lips don't feel quite as dry. As I go through the course of the day, I'll be applying some makeup here in a little while. So I'll come back kind of like a little bit later today. Um, like once I have my makeup on and kind of let you know how my makeup applied under my eyes and kind of how long this feeling on my lips lasts without chapstick and then kind of how my lips feel once I do apply my chapstick if I feel I have to apply it more often or not. So I will definitely let you know. So it's been about four hours since I did my mask. I now have a full face of makeup on and honestly no significant changes. I did go probably about an hour before I applied my chapstick and my lips did feel like a little bit better. Like it didn't feel like I had as much dry skin on my lips. But you know, I don't really feel my eye area looks any different. But like I said, under eye puffiness is not generally something that I struggle with. So like I said, I don't really know that they did a whole lot for me. I have used some eye and lip masks that I found at Marshalls. And honestly, I don't see a huge difference when I use those either. So it's just not a product that I have reached for very often. It's hard enough for me to do like my regular face masks and all that stuff. And you know, drink eight glasses of water a day and all that kind of thing. Um, so like I said, no significant change for me personally, but I had no adverse reactions either under my eyes or on my lips. I don't have particularly sensitive skin. Um, if you do, I don't know if that'll be an issue, but, um, but yeah, like I said, I had no adverse effects. So I don't really know if I would purchase these necessarily. I do think you can actually find a pretty good deal at like Marshall's for like a pack of like three or six or four eye and or lip masks. You know, like I said, I don't really notice a whole lot of difference with any of those products anyway. So you'll just have to try them for yourself, especially if you have under eye puffiness and see if they help you with that issue. Thank you so much to Be Pure for sending me the both the lip glosses and these eye and lip masks. I definitely enjoyed getting to try them out and look forward to trying out more products in the future. So thank you so much for sending them to me. I'll have some similar content up here. Definitely go check that out if you enjoy videos like this. Like this video, it helps me and my channel out so much and share this video with anybody you think may benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.